Terra Luna Classic, the cryptocurrency. What do we need for this cryptocurrency right now, right here? That is exactly what we're going to be talking about in today's video for Terra Classic. So I want to give you guys a big update on the price. So how are we tracking with the price? What needs to happen for this crypto to push up in price and uh, some other important things for this cryptocurrency? So everything you guys need to know, we're going to cover it right now. So if that sounds good to you guys, smash the thumbs up button. As always, not financial advice. And let's get straight into this video. So if we take a contextual look of uh, the Terra Classic price, I've got it right here on the graph. And uh, this is a long term window right here. So this is not a short term look at the price. This is a you know multi month look at the price right here. And you guys know we've been covering Terra Classic ever since it kind of dropped onto these micro levels right here. And this is where the fun has begun. Uh, we did see our first initial pump up in Terra Classic back right here. And uh, since then, it was traveling pretty flat for a long period of time. And uh, you can see it right there. And then we got this initial massive pump and we nearly got up to the uh, uh, three zeros and a six. So three zeros and a six has our be has been our most recent all time high. You have seen a little bit of a downwards trend right here, but we have kind of consolidated well above the uh, 0 0.002 plus level right now. So we're consolidating. We are holding above the 0 0.0002 level. And uh, if we benchmark this cryptocurrency against Bitcoin, uh, you can see you know the trend against Bitcoin. So Bitcoin provides us with a bit of an analysis analysis of how it's going against the broader crypto market, in particular Bitcoin right there. But what do we actually need for Terra Classic right here, right now? Uh, the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is the burn of Terra Classic. So you guys know it is absolutely critical. We continue to increase the burn of this cryptocurrency. So we cannot you know, slow down the, on the burn of Terra Classic. Uh, there are going to be some things that contribute to the burn of this. The biggest thing that is currently contributing to the burn of Terra Classic, you guys know it, it's Binance. So Binance is contributing uh, the most to the Terra Classic burn right now, which is great. But what else do we need right now for this cryptocurrency? We need these other crypto exchanges to really start to contribute to the burn. So we do have the 0.2% tax online, but we want to see KuCoin, we want to see Kraken, we want to see all these other ones right here. We need them to contribute to the burn of Luna Classic as well. So we want this to be a community effort from all the crypto exchanges. And uh, that's going to be good for this cryptocurrency. So you guys know there's a ton of crypto exchanges out there and a lot of them have volume going through for Terra Classic lots in the millions right there and uh, we want them to kind of you know mirror what Binance is doing uh, another thing we need right now for Terra Classic guys we want to see a Coinbase listing for this cryptocurrency so you guys can see my tweet I have been putting it out for Luna Classic supporting the crypto community over on Twitter right here but I have seen this trend so there's a lot of people over on Twitter and we want to see Coinbase list Luna Classic that would be a another good thing. It would get more eyeballs onto Terra Classic. And uh, this is going to be good for this cryptocurrency. So lots of people out there are tweeting about Coinbase Luna Classic. We want to see that happen. And we also want to see Robin Hood happen as well. And, uh, you know, overall, what do we need for Terra Classic right here, right now? You know, I'm going to stay consistent with my point of view about this crypto. So if we have a look at Terra Classic right now, CoinGecko, you know, we're trading around the 38 level on the charts. And uh, realistically, if we want to get Terra Classic up into the big money players in the cryptocurrency space. And I'm talking about the top 15. I'm talking about the top 10. I'm talking about BNB. I'm talking about Ethereum. What do we need, guys? And this is going to show you what we need for Terra Classic right now. So have a look at the TVL ranks. And if we actually zoom in and uh, have a look at this graph on the top right here, uh, historically, this yellow bar is not showing up in the, the legend here, but uh, that used to be Terra Classic. So Terra Classic used to be a monster crypto with a lot of TVL on the chain. And uh, this gives us a realistic look at how we're tracking against some of the other big cryptos out there. So you guys can see right here, Ethereum, TVL, $32 billion. Binance Smart Chain, TVL, 6.1 billion. Tron, TVL, 5.31 billion. Polygon that we've spoken about in the big crypto news updates, they are up to 1.36 billion. And uh, this is really you know, showing you where the money is going in DeFi, in cryptocurrency. And if we scroll down and down and down, we will find Terra Classic somewhere here. So number 64, TVL, 9 million. So this number right here, guys, this is the critical number. This is what we need right now for Terra Classic. We need this number to increase. And what's going to increase that? 
more rewards coming onto the DeFi chain, more incentives for developers to work on this cryptocurrency and uh, more apps, more play to earn games. You guys know it. everything that makes out a DeFi ecosystem in cryptocurrency, that's what we need on Terra Classic. So there's a lot of things we can be working on for this crypto and I'm staying bullish on this crypto even though uh, you know we're, we're floating around the 36, 38 rank right now. And again, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. Terra Classic won't be built out in a day. But uh, what I like to do in cryptocurrency is I diversify. I like to hold long term and I'm always comfortable with the levels of risk I'm taking on in crypto. So it doesn't matter what crypto project you're going for, guys. You always have to be comfortable with your levels of risk and reward in the crypto space. And again, if your project moons, you can get massively rewarded. And again, if the project goes down, you just have to be comfortable with that level of risk. Realistic chat with uh, Crypto Zeus today. But guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this analysis. If you did, smash the thumbs up button on this video. We'll have Let me know if you want me to continue the Terra Classic updates on the channel. But guys, appreciate you tuning into the video. If you want to support the channel, you can check out the links to different crypto exchanges uh, in the description of this video. There is a link to Patreon if you want early access and uh, extra analysis of cryptos. But guys, thank you guys for tuning in. Have a good weekend and I'll see you guys in the next one. Crypto Zeus signing out.